this video uh, we still uh, in the uh, SCR characteristics and is uh, most of operation now in the previous video I've covered the uh, reverse blocking mode operation now in order to check that one uh, you can uh, visit the uh, video link uh, uh, which I've uh, given in the uh, description of this video now uh, in this uh, video we are going to discuss about the uh, forward uh, blocking mode now in order to discuss about the forward uh, blocking mode uh, this is the uh, circuit diagram uh, that we have your a node is connected to the uh, positive side with respect to cathode okay your a is given with the positive supply with respect to the cathode k and k is given negative supply with respect to your a node a and then again uh, similar to the reverse blocking mode g is and like a gate is sorry uh gate is again kept open or there's no supply at the gate so in this kind of connection your uh, device okay this uh, scr device is in the forward bias okay now it's in the forward bias so which means that there is the flow of current from the anode to cathode uh, this is that current is called the uh, forward uh, current but again uh, depending upon the magnitude of this forward current again we will see whether that uh, the SCR is turning on or not now with respect to this connection okay with respect to this connection here with respect to this supply source and this terminal connection you will see that junction j1 and j3 are in forward bias and junction j2 is in the reverse bias so when that uh, the uh, scr is in the reverse blocking mode we have seen that junction j1 and j3 are in the reverse bias and junction j2 as forward bias but in case of the forward blocking mode is uh, just opposite junction j1 and j3 are in the forward bias and j2 is in the reverse bias so this junction j1 and uh, j3 will facilitate the uh, okay facilitate the flow of current but junction j2 will block or it will act as a barrier okay barrier to the flow of current from junction j1 and j3 so which means your junction uh, j1 and j3 is forward bias so it will conduct the current but junction because of the junction j2 present in between it will act as a barrier and no current is being uh, allowed to pass through this however there is a small current passing through that and that current is called the uh, forward leakage current now looking at uh, this uh, circuit diagram we have seen that our uh, connection is in the uh, uh, forward bias but because of the junction j2 in the reverse bias so only a small current is uh, passing through that device and the source of current is uh, from the i mean uh, from the source of course uh, but it is passing from that j to j1 and j3 but j2 act as a barrier so only a small current is allowing to pass through that uh, from the anode to cathode now in that case this current the name of current is called the forward leakage current and the mode of operation is called the forward blocking mode though our device is in uh, is in the forward uh, uh, bias but still that current is being blocked by the junction j2 because j2 is in the reverse bias now uh, if you draw the curve for this one if you draw the curve for the uh, this uh, forward blocking mode since we are talking about the VAK as positive so IAK will be also uh, positive which means uh, uh, we are talking in the pass coordinate okay we are talking in the pass coordinate so 
when that uh, okay uh, the device is in the port by so we will uh, see that even if you keep on increasing the uh, port voltage only a small current is passing through the uh, AC here and this magnitude of the current is called the forward leakage current and then now uh, this uh, like uh, till this okay till this section we call that our SCR is in the uh, forward blocking mode and if you keep on increasing the forward voltage okay if you keep on increasing the forward voltage beyond the limit okay there should be one limit which is called as, as the uh, forward break over voltage okay break over if we keep on increasing okay uh, our when uh, we increase vak greater than the okay forward uh, that one uh, the break over voltage mm, let me check how it speaks please okay break over voltage then okay then you are uh, that uh, after this there's a, uh, a huge flow of current which means you are you are that uh, the voltage is again dropping back and the conduction is taking place okay so which means when you keep on increasing the uh, uh, forward uh, that anode to cathode voltage beyond the breakover voltage then your conduction goes to the uh, forward conduction mode now from here okay from here it's known as the forward conduction mode now looking at this now looking at, at this now we have seen that one method one method to uh, turn on the uh, uh, one method to turn on the uh, SCR is by increasing VAK greater than the forward breakover voltage now this is one of the method to turn on the SCR and then we have also another method uh, by supplying the get signal and then we have again third method by uh, taking the uh, db by dt uh, okay rating by changing this one there is it's a uh, db by dt method okay this is like uh, we are going to change the uh, voltage with respect to time t and then we also have the port method like uh, by uh, uh, taking that thyristor the the hcr to the uh, light so like uh, light activation okay and uh, we can also uh, have i mean the turn on the thyristor by increase in temperature okay now how these things help in uh, SCR conduction I will prepare the video in I mean upload the video okay in the next video and then okay uh, from this okay uh, if you check into this graph so if you check into this graph this part is called the forward blocking mode now from here it is conducting so we call it as a forward conduction mode and then uh, we should also know the terminologies like forward leakage current now this is the area the uh, is the area of the forward leakage current and at this point again we have the voltage rating this the uh, this voltage is called the forward break breakover voltage and it's represented by the vpo and you remember that we also have at the left side we have okay the, the this one should be state mm. Mm. and here it should be state and we also have this area called the uh, reverse leakage current and this voltage is called the reverse breakdown voltage okay here it says breakdown voltage here is the breakover voltage now if you uh, 
if our supple voltage crosses this one then our thyristor can come back into the uh, conduction mode okay from here it is conduct uh, conducting which means acr is turned on but from this stage acr is still off 